Okay, so in the first video, you uh, you found that coin two was more likely to do both of the things that happened, and then you you saw that it was a larger chance to flip heads in the first one compared to coin one versus a slightly smaller chance to get two heads compared to coin one mm -hmm. and three flips. But what actually happened in this problem is you flipped a coin and then you flipped a second coin. And you got, you got this sequence of um, head and then three or two heads out of three flips. So th the whole sequence is what you got. So you, you broke the sequence into two pieces, but what, what actually happened was the full, the full combination of those two events. So how do you think you approach the problem? Well, so it says that, one of the coins is, so there's, can be, there's four different outcomes then. One of the coins is tossed once, resulting in heads. The other coin mm -hmm. is tossed three times, resulting in two heads. So. You, you have four different outcomes that can happen. You can have this be coin one, or you actually have two different outcomes. Okay. So this is coin one, this is coin two. Yep. Yeah. Or this is coin two and that's coin one. Okay. So you just, you compute the probabilities of that happening, which I already have the numbers here. Yeah, I'm not gonna erase all of them, I'm gonna erase the... And then you discover which one's more likely. Okay. So I'll do, the first one is coin one first. Okay. That's one half times the second one being coin two is four nights. So it's two nights. Okay. The first one being coin two is a two thirds chance times a three eighths chance, which is one fourth. Okay. Now this is two nights is smaller than a fourth. Okay. So that means this, this one fourth option is more likely to happen. Okay, and which option was that? It's the one I said before. The coin two is flip one and coin one is flip two. Okay. Now, your, your argument the first, which, which do you think is a better argument? Uh, this the, one, one. the one from the first time around or the second time around? This one seems better. Okay, how come? Well, because this is computing the probabilities of each one happening. Mm -hmm and showing how they're, which one is more likely to happen based on if it has a larger probability. Okay. And then the other way was finding sort of difference in probabilities. Yeah, the other way was actually a very interesting intuition, an intuitive way of looking at it. Um, the trouble is the probabilities interact with each other, mm -hmm. sort of across, across your square here. So you have this probability times this one, and this one times this one. So. You really do. You might. Your first way is a fine way to get some intuition about what's going on. Mm -hmm. To actually get the um, to do the calculation, uh, you got to go this down this second round. Anyway, very good work.